Hi guys, welcome to another Star Wars Helmet Collection review. I'm going to be reviewing issue 8 today. I'm quite a bit far behind actually. Issue 23 just came out last Wednesday. But you know, a bit of work. I'll catch up. Um, I have been getting all of them ever since as well, just so you know. So, Although it might take a little bit longer, I will be reviewing them all. Anyway, here we have issue 8, which is General Grievous. Technically, it's a head, kind of like R2, um, C3PO, sorry. But yeah, you've got your same basic stuff, Star Wars Helmet Collection, a picture of Grievous, some of the stuff, uh, stuff from Episode 3. Also, one of the better things of the prequels, I find, General Grievous, you know. As per usual, I'll just give you a quick little look at the magazine. Of course, this would go on for probably over an hour if I had to read it all to you, so yep, yeah, just feel free to give that pause if you like. Uh -huh. That there, that there, opening it up, you've got this basic stuff, you know, same guff that you're used to seeing, I suppose. You know, that uh, fold out a bit on the inside. Uh -huh. And we've got this, as you can see there. Yep. Got that right there. Covering it with my thumb. And you got that. That. And that's the magazine. One after this will be the ATAT -AT pilot. Right there. Anyways, putting that to the side, here we have the helmet of General Grievous, even though it's well his head. Anyway, you got your same basic acrylic plastic clear stand. You got the actual helmet and the name right there. It's removable. There we go. This one doesn't really have all that much going on. Well, it's nice, but you know, you've got some uh, like scratch marks, which looks pretty cool. You've got a detailing of his like mouth, these like ear things, and also here like individual things. You know, like they're kind of in between his. Uh, I don't know what you want to call that jawline. I don't know what you'd call it. But yeah, you know, you've got all the paint marks and whatnot. On the side, you've got that, that kind of piping thing, which looks nice. That thing on the back, that pattern. All in all, it looks pretty nice. It's a bit longer than, well, not a bit, quite a bit longer, I'd say, than your average helmet. But I think that's just because of the whole uh, way it connects to the uh, display stand. It's... A big fat chunk of rubbery something and it works with most helmets but since this is essentially a head literally this looks like his neck part of me kind of wishes they made it red or something so you know it kind of looked like his cape but that being said i think it's just the inside of his cape that's red but oh well yeah this one's pretty simple you've got some nice paint taps on it though and all things considered i like it back on the display stand. I'll just do that off camera so it's easier for me. Okay, make sure it's all straight and whatnot. Yep, there we go. Wrong way. There we go. So that's General Grievous. And as per usual I'll just show you in comparison with the one that came before it which is the Scout Trooper. Which I've also reviewed. So yeah, that's that. Um, nothing else I can say, to be honest. It's one of the most basic helmets we've got. Minus the Stormtrooper, I guess. That doesn't have all that much detail either. But yeah, uh, you know. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll be sure to review more of these in the future. See ya. Take care.